Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 28th, 2019. So as this month starts to wind down, doggone it, we have probably more questions and answers in this market. Let's take a look at what, what I'm talking about here. As we come back from a holiday weekend, and by the way, I hope everyone had a fantastic holiday weekend, a little bit of rest. We have a market that gapped up on Friday and then left us well, a lot of indecision and not a big surprise to see um, little to no volume heading into a holiday weekend like this. But we ended up leaving a very indecisive candle pattern here on the diamonds. So first off, let's take a look and um, keep in mind that anything is possible. We don't know um, how the market's going to respond today. But um, as we take a look here, we are still in a downtrend on the diamonds. And we're kind of hovering here above this important level of support you can see if I pull this chart back this level of support kind of runs through the chart all the way back over here so we can see that level of price action right in there trying to hold that market up but that indecisive candle pattern after a gap up open really doesn't give us a whole lot of warm and fuzzies here in the market now futures themselves have been kind of interesting overnight futures were positive all night long until um, about 5 a.m we started to slip lower we started trading lower over concerns apparently over concerns of Italy's rising deficit problem and that's also affecting uh, European markets this morning and then we really started to slip lower. So right now we're looking at kind of a flat to just slightly bearish open if it continues like this uh, through the morning. So a little bit more indecision. Also keep in mind that it would not be out of the question that traders have extended their holiday vacations through today so it's very very possible we could see another day of light and choppy price action uh waiting for everyone to kind of come back to work and and get up to speed and and get with the program here so just kind of keep that in mind now the diamonds themselves they have already made that test of their 200 day moving average and we've tested that twice now so that is a relatively a good sign that we could have found that bottom when we may be in that bottoming pro process. But then we run into the spy and we have a few more questions here that have to be answered. And that's the problem that we've got going on is just a lot more questions and answers here in the market. First off, let's note that we still are in a downtrend here in the SPY and although we have that same type of double bottom type pattern and we're currently holding right here on a key level of support we're trying to hang in there and hold that level what I want you to notice is that we're kind of floating midway between the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average it is entirely possible that we see that 200 day moving average before this is over. I'd like to hope that um, this key level of support will hold price and that this little double bottom pattern that we're trying to form here will actually hold in price. But I gotta tell you, there's enough question here that we're gonna have to be really, really cautious and careful because take a look at this candle pattern. We had that Friday pop and drop where we popped up and then sold off. This would certainly suggest the possibility of more lows this morning. And you can see right now, as we're looking at this just a slightly very slightly lower open this morning in the spot. So little concern, um, lots of questions. Um, what we wanna do is be very, very focused on this level of price support, I think. If we were to fail through there, um, look for that 200 day moving average. If we can get going and start rallying, we're gonna watch, wanna watch this price resistance up in here. 
and as you can see that price resistance carries all the way through this area that's where we're going to have to pay attention to where those sellers might be lining up to defend so kind of keep that in mind we've got some issues here a lot of questions to answer let's take a look at the cues cues really leave us um, a bit perplexed. We gap up on Friday and end up selling off strongly, leaving behind a bearish engulfing candle. But unfortunately, or, or fortunately, I mean, we leave that bearish engulfing candle right here on a key level of price support. You can see all the way through here trying to use that level in either support or resistance. So we're holding right there with that bearish engulfing um, in the NASDAQ. That leaves us with a lot of questions. And the other thing that we have to deal with here is that once again, the cues are floating somewhere around midpoint here between that 50 day moving average and the 200 day moving average. Will that 200 day moving average win the day and drag that NASDAQ down as, as the concerns that the trade war may become more of a tech war between the U.S. and China. Um, keep in mind, we're still in that downtrend. Here's our level of support that we want to watch very closely. If we slip below that, let's look for that 200-day moving average to be tested. If we do rally, let's keep in mind we have a significant level of support here that we'll have to keep an eye on, and that's actually before we even hit that 50-day moving average. So we've got some issues here to deal with technically um, some very challenging um, um, charts to try and deal with let's take a look at IWM IWM decided to buck the system here on Friday and kind of do the opposite of all the other indexes and that's finished the day with a positive print a positive candle but um, an inside candle after a strong sell-off day the day before so here's what we have going on in IWM IWM we're still in a downtrend we're holding on to a very important level of support here in the chart and if we can hold that great we can we can hang in there that would be awesome if we begin to rally back keep in mind we have significant levels of resistance above and let's also keep in mind that IWM is in a longer term downtrend than the other indexes so not looking very healthy here overall in IWM let's take a look at those moving averages and you can see at this point we're well below our 50 and 200 day moving averages and we are in that very clear defined um, downtrend so if we begin to rally we're gonna have to watch this area right in here if we begin to rally for that resistance to come into play and maybe push us to further lows so watch that closely IWM not in a good position at all once again leaving quite a lot of questions and not very many answers let's take a look at the VIX the VIX on Friday we tried to gap up on Friday got above this key level that I've marked out here I, in fact I've used this level for a very long time in the VIX we we popped above that key level but then by the end of the day we drifted back down once again leaving more questions than answers but here's what we have going on in this chart if we take a look we do have the possibility of an uptrend right in here but let's also keep in mind we have the possibility of a downtrend right in here and we're holding around this key level of support it's really going to be um, very very important uh, very very important that whoever takes over in this area if the bears happen to take over and we catch support here we could see fear come into the market pretty quickly if the bulls are able to maintain and hold on we could see that fear start to diminish just a little bit boy I gotta tell you um, it's up in the air it's kind of that coin toss right now on who's going to win that game in here so keep a pretty close eye on the VIX and watch for the possibility of that fear to start to grow a little um, if if those bears come in let's take a look at t21 22 T2122 is a four week new high, new low ratio. I plot that on a line chart, just a simple line chart. 
and you can see how we get down here in these bearish reversal zones or excuse me bullish reversal zones is what i call this down here where we can get all the way down in here but notice here lately we have had a defense of this level like crazy um, in the chart we get down here in this area and the the bulls are just defending 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 trying to prevent the market from moving lower but let's also notice that if we kind of draw a line across these tops up here we also have a level where the bears are uh, not allowing new highs to come in when we rally back up so we have this battle going on where we're trying to hold these lows in the market and then the bears are fighting pretty darn hard to prevent us from going up here again more questions than answers what i will tell you with t2122 is it doesn't give us any directional clue necessarily it just tells us that when we're reaching those bearish or bullish reversal zones that we have uh, we, that we need to be recognizing the potentials here and kind of keep that in mind. So what this tells us is we have a sufficiently large open door for a potential rally. We will want to watch maybe some resistance up through here, but it also tells us that we have room to move lower and even pass on through there if the bears really get busy, if they stop supporting this area in here. So watch that kind of an interesting thing setting up here again lots and lots of questions let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today now this could give us a little bit of help it could also hurt us as you know economic calendar for today we have S&P core logic it's not one of those huge market moving uh, news reports but the market could be grabbing on anything it can right now to try and find some some bullishness here so we'll want to keep an eye on that and then um at 10 o'clock we have our consumer confidence coming out now consumer comp confidence has remained very very strong and I, I would expect that to stay the same after that after these two events here this morning one at nine one at ten eastern time we don't have a whole lot for the market to chew on and it'll be uh, interesting to see how the market deals with that especially if we have light volume today um so kind of keep that in mind Mind. on the earnings calendar today we have a fewer than 60 companies reporting earnings today but we have a few notables that um, we might want to keep an eye on that have been holding up quite well and doing well in different places this BAH I've been mentioning this um, as a possible trade for um, a long time here and it's just been climbing 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 and now this morning um, doesn't look like we have an answer yet whether they've reported or not just kind of hovering there a w day w day also reporting today we'll want to keep an eye on that looks like it's still just hovering around there hasn't um reported um on that so we've got some of those uh, reports but they're not the kind of ports, reports that are likely to seriously move the market so you'll want to keep that in mind so with that everyone i want to say thank you to everyone who takes the time to click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment on these videos you guys are just awesome i appreciate that so much every time you do that it helps the algorithm show these videos to more people thank you very very much for that and remember the purpose of these videos are to help people do a little bit better job with their preparation for the day and i and i I know what's helped me over the years. Now in my 14th year as a full-time trader, um, preparation is far more important than luck. And and going through those um, the going through those charts and being prepared as to how I want to approach the market for the day um, has been very very important to me. So if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor, click that subscribe button, and then also click that bell icon. And then please please everyone feel free to share this video with any friends and family. Share it on Facebook, Twitter. That's perfectly acceptable. And by the way, I would thank you very much for that. So with that, let's take a look at a few charts that are, uh, well, setting up one way or the other for potential trades. Now, keep in mind, anytime I give you an idea for a potential trade, that 
this is not a recommendation to buy or sell. It is just merely a pattern, something setting up, something for your evaluation to take a look at. Let's take a look at a couple trades. CNC. CNC. Oops, let me go to my daily chart here. CNC is a pattern we call a rounded bottom breakout. Now, the rounded bottom breakout is one of those patterns that just repeats itself over and over and over in charts and tends to be a very, very bullish pattern or a, a, a very uh, a pattern that is consistently um, one of the better patterns um, that I trade and if you take a look here all this consists of this is first off the 200 day moving average must be above the 50 day moving average and we start seeing all of those shorter term moving averages uh, the 20 day the 34 EMA the 80 EMA all starting to cross up through that 50 and then take note that that 50 day moving average that moved down pretty sharply is now flattened and starting to show that possibility that it may turn over. The round and bottom breakout occurs when the price breaks through the 50 day moving average. And any hold, any pullback after that and hold of support, we wanna watch pretty closely for that potential buy. And we certainly had a bullish move here on Friday, CNC looking very strong. And the targets, the ultimate targets up in here would be the 200 day moving average. Of course, we do have to watch these price levels in here there's no guarantee we'll go all the way to the 200 but we're looking pretty good on cnc and cnc is one of those charts that i'm watching fairly closely so you might want to keep that or put that on your list as a potential trade you also might want to take a look at some of these defensive stocks that have just been really really strong um whoops um first let me this isn't a defensive um stock this is um uh, you know technology sector but Shopify has not wanted to go down at all um, even though the market has been very very bearish take a look at how beautifully strong this trend is in Shopify now keep in mind this could consolidate itself all the way over here to trend before it actually takes off but I think it's worthy of watching pretty closely and as a matter of fact an alert right up in here could get you that entry into uh, the trend and maybe even a steepening of the trend uh, in Shopify if it continues to move up from there. So watch that one closely. But uh, defensive sector stocks have been very, very strong and they've held up really well um, in this market sell-off. And that's fairly um, common where we see that consumer defensive area hold up it's where people run for safety um, in a questionable market. We can see MDLZ has moved up. We are at all-time highs here on MDLZ, moved up nicely, and then consolidating over to trend. And you can see if we were to pop through this level right in here, maintaining that trend, we have that next potential move up. And with a 52-week high, there's no, there's no resistance up there. If we can break through blue sky up there, can to keep might be wise to keep an eye on MDLZ. Take a look at um, Monster. Monster Beverages, Monster Beverages holding up pretty well, holding against a resistance area in the chart. But notice there's really no give up here. We get this rally, first a gap up, pull back, rally, and now we're consolidating against price resistance. If that were to pop through there, that could be significant. We might want to keep an eye on that if that can break through to make those new highs. And to give that a little bit of extra oomph, just notice that there is our trend. Um, in uh, Monster, it could go at any time. So let's kind of keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at PepsiCo. PepsiCo, another one, same sector, looking really good has maintained its strength here. Although we had a little bit of pullback on Friday, let's keep in mind this move up could be nothing more than that consolidation over to trend, very much like this before we find those buyers and move on in. So kind of keep an eye on PepsiCo. If you're looking for a potential trade for a bearish trade, let's take a look at BA. Now BA is not set up for a bearish trade just exactly yet, but we did end up putting in a shooting star type pattern right here at the downtrend on BA. 
and also take a look that this is a very large area of price resistance in the chart. So that shooting star pattern should give us a little concern. If that were to follow through to the downside, I would suggest more potential lows could occur in BA if that follows through. So you might want to keep an eye on on BA for that potential and there you know there's just quite a few of these charts out here that really are on that fence whether they're going to be bullish bearish uh, might be a little bit questionable take a look at Nike whoops Nike is right there kind of we had that failure here and I mentioned this one last week as a potential um, short and that certainly played out well enough but it was as you look it didn't get very very strong in its sell-off we've come right back down here to this level of support so we want to watch here on Nike if this were to fail through this area I think what I would prefer is any kind of a rally back I would want to see that rally back maintain this downtrend for that potential short in Nike so there are charts out there that are that are uh, once again right Raising a lot more questions and answers and things that you want to um, review and keep an eye on. And last but not, not least, I'm going to mention Disney again. Disney saw a little bit of selling, maybe trying to break its downtrend here. But if Disney can pick up in this area, kind of hold this trend in this area someplace and start rising up here, it's something I want to be paying attention to um, on that chart. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. Once again, please do me a favor. Click that click that thumbs up button and leave a comment on this video if you feel it's worth it. I, I, I truly, truly appreciate those who do that. And everyone, take care. I want to wish you all a great day. And just a word of encouragement, if you're struggling as a trader, please understand that that's a very, very common thing. Um, to, to struggle for, for uh, quite some time in your trading. But if, if you find that, please don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on that dream of being a trader because trust me on this, if I can do this, you can. I'm just an old carpenter that seems to have, have, have found, found my way in the market. You can as well. So think about that and, and never give up on that dream. Everyone take care of yourselves. Have a great day. We'll talk to you all bright and early on Wednesday morning. Thank <laughs> you.